Guys, in this video, I'm going to build a bar chart in React application using Material UI chart components. Let's have a look at Material UI documentation and explore different kinds of chart components available in Material UI. I'm going to leave a link to Material UI documentation in the description. So here in Material UI documentation, I'm just going to explore the components and right at the bottom, I should be able to find the Material UI charts. So I'm just going to click on Material UI charts and here in the documentation, there are different kinds of charts available in Material UI, like we can build a bar chart, line chart, pie chart, and all kinds of charts using Material UI components. So in this video, I'm just going to focus on bar chart components. So I'm just going to click on bar chart. So that's the most basic bar chart component available in Material UI. So in this video, we are going to build this bar chart component into a React application and we will learn how we can customize this bar chart on the X axis and the Y axis and we can also customize the bars here. So without wasting any time, let's go to the React application and build this bar chart from scratch. So here in my terminal, I'm just going to create a fresh React application using a command npx create react app. So guys, here I am in my new React application. I'm just going to remove all the default code here and create a hello world application. So I can see that my hello world application is running fine in my browser. Now it's time to start building the bar chart here from scratch. Before we start building, I'm just going to install all the required packages that we are going to need to build a bar chart because we are using material UI components. So I'm just going to install material UI into this application. So here in my material UI documentation under the installation section, I should be able to find the command to install material UI in this application. So I'll copy this command, go back to my application and open a new terminal to install material UI into my application. So guys, now material UI has been installed into this application. I'm back to my documentation. We are going to need one more package from Material UI. So for that, I'm just going to explore my components. If I scroll down at the bottom, I should be able to find the charts component. So if I go to the charts documentation and look at getting started section here. So here they have mentioned that we are going to need a Material UI charts package to build a bar chart into this application. So I'll just copy this command, go back to my application and install this. So here in my terminal, I'm just going to paste the command to install Material UI charts. So now that we have all the packages that we are going to need to build a bar chart into our application, I'm going to explore in the documentation the different kind of bar charts that are available in Material UI. So here in the bars, I can go to bars overview. Here in the documentation, you can see that we have a different kinds of bar charts available in Material UI. So basically we are going to import one of the bar charts from here and try to implement in our React application. And we will try to customize the bar chart as much as possible and learn how we can customize different things in the bar chart. For example, the color of the bars, labels on the X axis and the Y axis. And we are going to see how to make the bar chart presentable. So I'll go back to the overview and try to build the basic bar chart that is available here into my React application. So here they have provided a chunk of code to build a React.js component related to bar chart. So I'm just going to copy this component from here, go back to my React application. So here in my React application under the source, I'm just going to create a new file that is going to be bar chart.js and under bar chart.js, I'm just going to copy all the chunk of code that I got from material UI. So now we have a bar chart component into our React application. I'm just going to import this chart component into my app.js and I'm also going to replace my hello world with this component. So that's how our bar chart is looking in the application right now. We are going to try and improve the layout of this bar chart and make it look presentable by using some CSS. So here in my main div container, I'm just going to put a style tag here and apply some CSS. So here I can make the display as flex and I can justify the content to center to bring the chart in the center of the page. Let's indent the code properly so we can see all the CSS we are applying here. So here in the CSS, I'm also going to align items to center. And I'm going to mention that height of this main container should be 100 VH. So that's how our chart is looking right now. We are going to try and reduce the width of this chart. So I'm going to enclose this chart component into another div tag. And I'm also going to apply some styling on my second div tag. And here I can mention the width 
of the chart which should be 700 pixels so that's how our chart is looking right now with a width of 700 pixels now let's increase the height of this bar chart so to increase the height i'll go back to my code and here in my bar chart component we can see that this bar chart component has a property that is height and if i want to increase the height i can make it from 290 to 500 so now let's save this and go back to our application so now we can see that height of the bar chart has increased to 500 pixels we see that there are no labels present in this bar chart on the x-axis and y-axis so let's try and put some labels on x-axis and y-axis so here in my bar chart component i can see that there is a property that is x-axis and this x-axis has a uh, data and a scale type i can mention another property here that is going to be label and i can name the label as i want so i'm just going to name it as quarterly sales so now if i save this and go back to my application i should be able to see my label here but i'm not able to see because of not having enough margins so i'll go back to my bar chart and here in my bar chart i'm just going to increase the margin to 50 so now I am able to see the label on my x-axis that says quarterly sales. Same way I'm just going to try and put label on my y-axis. So I'll just go back to my bar chart.js. So here we already have a property that is x-axis. I'm just going to add one more property here that is going to be y-axis and y-axis will accept the array with the object inside it. And this object is going to have a property that is label so this is going to be the label on y-axis so now i am able to see the label on my y-axis that says sales in millions so we can also add labels to clarify what each color bar represents here for example the bar that looks green in color represents something and the bar that looks blue in color also represents something so we are going to add labels to the bars with different colors so we have four colors here and we have four bars in each quarter quarter one two three and four so if we look at our bar chart component this bar chart component has a property that is series and in the series we are passing data four times now we are passing data four times and each data is having four data points so each data point is for different color of bars so assuming that my first data is for the bar that is first on the bar chart that is green in color i'm just going to add a label to my green bar and i'm just going to add a property that is label and i can say that this label is representing a data related to company one if i save this go back to my application now we can see that we have a label here that says the green bar represents the data that is related to company one so same way i can add the labels to all my bars here so i'll just copy this label to all my bars and i'm just going to change company names company two company three and company four now we have labels that says what each color bar represents for example the bar that is blue in color represents the data that is belonging to company two so that's how we can add the labels to our different bars so we can see that as of now these labels are overlapping the bars so we are going to correct some margins here so if i go back to my code here i can increase my margin top to 30 if i do that now the labels are shifted up a little bit but i can increase it even more let's make it 50 so if i make it 50 now the bar chart is looking good the labels are not overlapping the bars now these colors are coming by default from material ui so i'll try to customize the colors on these bars so let's go back to our application so if i want to change the colors i can add another property to my bar chart so that property is going to be colors and this property is going to accept an array of colors so let's say that i want my first bar to be black my second bar to be blue and my third bar is going to be orange and my fourth bar is going to be brown so i'm just passing the four colors here because i have four bars and now we can see that all the colors on the bars are changed so the last thing i want to do in this bar chart is i want to make top of the bars round in shape so i'm just going to add a border radius to all these bars here to do that i'll go back to my application so here in my bar chart component i can add a property that is going to be border radius let's add a border radius of 30 so now we can see that our bar chart is having the bars that are round in shape now let's say that i have a data only related to two companies and i want to present only two bars in one quarter 
I don't want four bars in every quarter. So in that case, I'm just going to make some more customization in this bar chart and reduce the number of bars to two bars in each quarter. Let's go back to our bar chart component here. Reducing the number of bars on the bar chart is very simple. You just have to reduce the data related to third and the fourth bar. So if I am passing the data that is related to only two bars, company one and company two. So now my bar chart is only going to have two bars in each quarter. So that's all about building bar charts in React JS using Material UI. If you found a value in this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.